Hey guys, welcome back to FM Pepe. This is your channel. Please subscribe, hit the like button, and share the videos. And that sounded a bit too professional for me because I'm a lunatic who's just sent Pep Guardiola to Rochdale. Sorry, Man City fans. I want your gaffer. The man I'm named after. Yes, Pepe has signed Pep. Uh, we've got Pep Guardiola here. Um, incredible stats, tactical, technical, motivating, adaptability, tactical, all 19. Um, 18 is judging player ability and player potential and outstanding really. So I always wondered what would Pep Guardiola do if the man himself, he, he's had, look, he's... <laughs> Let's be honest about it, right? He's he's had a bit of a you know, good playing career. Played for Barca B then Barcelona. Went to Brescia, Roma, back to Brescia, Al Ali in Qatar and Dorados, uh, I think in Spain. Um then he went into management Barcelona B team, Barcelona, F C Bayern and Man City. This is the thing that interests me. He can do it, and has done it for 12 years, at some at three very big clubs. Okay, and I think he's a terrific gaffer. I think he's brilliant. He's probably, to me, the best manager in the world. Okay, that's why I'm named after him. So, um, what I've done is decided to put him at Rochdale. Could he deal with the same players that Brian Barry Murphy's had to deal with? and get a better tune out of them I'm hoping he can alright now I'm gonna make this completely fair like all the injuries they're still gonna suffer them alright they're still gonna have all the players um, you know the only thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring Ryan Delaney back right because for the pure simple reason he was still at Rochdale at the start of the season so I'm gonna let Pep decide whether he goes out on loan or not. It's Pep Guardiola's decision. Alright? So we'll see if he would have sent Ryan Delaney out on loan. Um, so as we go back to this Rochdale team and we have a little look. Robert Sanchez, Tyler McGlaw, they wouldn't have been part of the team as well. Neither would Reese Norrington Davis. So, unfortunately, Rochdale fans, I'm going to have to terminate their loans as well. And I love Sanchez. I love Reese Norrington Davis. I've not seen anything of Tyler McGlaw because he got injured. Um, but, unfortunately, that's, that's just the way it has to go. Pep Guardiola has to try and work with these lads um, and work in the transfer market and see what players he would have brought in. Because even Ricky o Pike's going back. Um, because I think that's that's going to be the challenge for him. Would he have made the same signings? I think not. But how would he have dealt with this squad? Looking at this squad from the get-go. So, who else? Right, Jim Ryan came in halfway through the... Uh, yeah, Jim Ryan's got to go. Um... terminate contract it'd be a free transfer um, that's it that's the squad really Paul McShane he's got to go because he just signed um, terminate his contract did we start the season with Jay Lynch I'm not sure we did you know I'm not sure we did I can't oh god I can't be sure did we? Didn't we? I think he might have been training with us at the start of the season. And then signed on. I'm not sure. Ooh, Jay Lynch. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm going to leave him there because I honestly can't be sure. I'm, I'm not sure. What I do want to do is I want to see how Pep Guardiola does 
in League One with a budget as tight as Rochdale's. Rochdale are one of the lowest wage um, wages in the um, country. Um, not just in League One, but there there are teams in League Two that pay more than Rochdale. There's non-league teams that pay more than Rochdale. Here's Marcelino getting the Man City job apparently, I think. Simeone dismisses the interest. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fast forward it to um, maybe ooh, let's, let's choose let's say let's say 1st of October because then the transfer window is shut and then we're going to see what Pep Guardiola has done in the transfer window if anything and we're going to see how he improves Rochdale whether Rochdale play well, they play bad let's find out okay guys I have trapped Pep Guardiola in Azkaban otherwise known as Spotland or the Crown Oil Arena if you like the sponsors um, and they make okay paint um, <laughs> the paint's not bad right so we're gonna have a look at the uh, transfer history it's the 2nd of October we're gonna see who he's signed and he looks as though he's signed a few okay so he's not let anyone go that's good um, Quadro Bar and you and uh, Owen O'Connell are already here so he signed Ryan Blair Blair uh, Ryan Blair 23 year old DM Scottish player okay was it Dunfermline Swansea although he didn't play for them Falkirk Played 32 games, 3 goals. Played 5 for Rochdale and 1 goal. So, he looks kind of like a normal League 1 bang average player. Maybe League 2. Luka Racic. Uh, centre back on loan from Brentford. 6 foot 2. Dives into tackles, marks opponents tightly. Um decent alright yeah, he's kind of average and you know he's he's played nine games for Rochdale um, two for Brentford was originally at FC Copenhagen or FC Copenhagen to you and me Omari Sterling James a left winger uh, played seven games for us um, signed from Brackley at, no Mansfield who is he signed from? Anyway, he scored 133. He scored 14 goals in 133 games. Looks a decent left winger. Signed from Mansfield for 51,000 pound. Okay, so we have a DM, a centre half, and a left winger. And here's a right winger in Larnell Cole, who some of you may not realise, but actually was at Rochdale a while back. Um, and he was on trial, I think. He maybe even played in some friendlies. Um, but he he's pretty quick um, so he's come on a free from Tranmere um, well he was a free transfer so he was a Bosman signing Jamie Thomas the Burnley striker who was released back in 2018 he's been out of football for a year and we've signed him ok um, 6 foot 2 Big strong Welsh lad. Alright, he looks like a decent signing actually, Jamie Thomas. Um, Christopher Mafumbi, a goalkeeper from Blackpool. Six foot five. Um, okay. Nine appearances, conceded six goals. I'll take that. That's actually quite good. George Thomas on loan to uh, Rochdale from Leicester and his finishing is not so clever but um, scored 5 goals in 11 games for us uh, that's not bad I'll take that Calder Silva we signed a full back to play left or right I think he's a left back um, very quick I think he was at Arsenal or Chelsea, wasn't he? Who was he at Chelsea? 
Yeah, Chelsea then went to Brentford. He's played four games for us. Okay, and Victor Fernandez, left winger from, um, a left midfielder from Newcastle. Two goals in five appearances. Okay, looks decent. So he signed um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine players. All right, let's go have a look at the senior squad. He signed nine players. Let's have a look. So in goal he's got Mafumbi, right back Matheson, um, centre halves of Ratchich and Delaney. So he wouldn't have let Delaney go. He, he's been playing him. Okay, and called this over at left back. He's playing Owen O'Connell in a DM role. That's interesting. Um, Callum Camps and Ryan Blur are playing in midfield. Ian Henderson's out on the right. Victor Fernandez out on the left. George Thomas in the middle. See, I'd have probably played Thomas out on the right because he's shorter and, you know, Hendo is it's 5'10", but he's... You know, he's mainly a striker. He's not, he's not a right winger. Josh Lillis in goal. Uh, Matt Nolte, MJ uh, Williams, Jamie Thomas, Jimmy Keohane, Ryan McLaughlin, and Aaron Morley in uh, on the bench. That looks like uh, it's quite well stacked in midfield. That um, both Williams, Keohane, and Morley are centre mids. Well, Keohane can play right wing back. But then why would you have Ryan McLaughlin there as well? No need for Keohane, really. you got Matt Nolte there. Yeah, I'd probably put Matty Dunn on the bench in place of Keohane. Um, Wilbraham is still injured. Uh, three to seven weeks. Ollie Rathbone, five to six weeks. He's injured. He didn't register Jay Lynch, the goalkeeper. That's interesting because um, at Rochdale he's he's played quite regular um, along with Rob, Robert Fernandez, uh, Robert Sanchez. Sorry, I think Robert Fernandez, Victor Fernandez. Uh, yeah, Robert Sanchez is a brilliant keeper. Rochdale have had on loan uh, from Brighton, and um, yeah, top top keeper. So he's paid 51000 or whatever it was for Amari Sterling James and he's not even got him in the squad. And Stephen Doodley, the other winger, he's not even played him this year. Okay. And Lionel Cole, another winger he signed, only played once. This this goes to... And Matty Dunn's there as well. Left mid. Left wing. Right. This this goes to what I've been saying. He's only played two games as well. This goes to what I'm I'm saying about Rochdale at the moment with their team. This is a four three three, right? And you get some fans who think it's a four four two because they think Callum Camps is an attacking centre mid and Williams and Morley are in midfield. Um and Williams drops back to form a three with the two centre halves and Matheson and Reese Norton Davis push up and become wing backs and we become a three five two. And and so everyone thinks it's tactical genius. It's not, it's just a four three three, you know, with the ability for players to move around. It, but it is a four three three. Th there's no wingers in this team. Fernandez is a left midfielder, fair enough. But I mean, you know, left winger, but Hendo is a striker. Um he hasn't got a winger on the bench, and yet he's got Cole, Doolit, and Sterling James, who are all wingers that aren't even in the squad. This is my gripe with the 4 3 3 formation. It doesn't bring about good wing play and exciting football. And that's that's one of the things why Rochdale fans are not all. Some are, I'm going to say that, but not all. Are enjoying the football, shall we say? There's a little bit of unrest. Anyway, they've played um, 11 games. Drew 2-2 at home to Wickham. Lost to Fleetwood 2-1. Drew 1-all 
at home to Lincoln, drew 0-0 to Peterborough uh, away, lost 2-0 to Ipswich at home, 2-2 uh, away to South, em uh, South End, lost to Blackpool 2-1, lost to Sunderland 2-1, both at home, lost away to Shrewsbury 1-0, and won at home to Doncaster 1-0. Huh. So there's a few draws, a um, couple of wins. Hang on. Yeah. Matches, fixtures, and results. Oh god. No oh, ones for Rochdale. Competitions, senior squad. Yeah. So Rochdale. They've lost the game to Mansfield in the Leasing.com trophy. Um, let's see. Schedule for the senior squad. Let's have a look. Here we go. So they picked up three points away to Tramier, one at home to Doncaster. One away to Shrewsbury, so there's nine points. Ten points with a draw at South End. Eleven, twelve, thirteen points with the next games. So yeah, the come end of transfer window, they've done all right, but they're eighth in Skybet League One. So we're going to see where they are um, on February the first now, after the January transfer window. So sit tight and we will see uh, how well Pep Guardiola does with Rochdale. They are only 6 points off the top, I will say that. However, it's only 11 games played, so they're 7 points off relegation. Ah, <laughs> uh, every optimistic Rochdale fan. So, go on all day again. And we will go to... Oh God, 2020. February the 1st. Go on holiday. I'll see you in a second. Well, management's just not that easy. Seems like everyone who manages Rochdale is destined for the sack. <laughs> oh, God. Quinton Fortune, everybody, is now the new manager of Rochdale. Oh, my God. I don't know when that happened, but... Uh, history managers Pep Guardiola he lasted a hundred and ninety days oh wow he was sacked on the 31st of December ouch New Year's Eve oh and uh, yeah not terribly good. So he won seven games, he drew nine games, and he lost twelve. A twenty five percent win record. Ouch. Out of twenty eight games he lost twelve. I'm shocked. I am absolutely shocked. <sighs> God. Quinton Fortune hasn't had a game yet. Um, good discipline, good motivating. But he keeps getting this job. <laughs> I don't know why Quinton Fortune keeps getting linked with the Rochdale job. But um, he's not the first manager <laughs> that's got the sack from Rochdale in one of these experiments and ended up, uh, ended up, what do you call it, at, um, as manager. So... He did, let's see, Aidan Barlow has joined on loan. Okay. Um, so Quentin Fortune may have made that signing. Wow. They replaced Pep Guardiola with Quentin Fortune. I'm, I'm shocked. I'm absolutely shocked. Um, and... He became manager of Lille. Pep Guardiola went to Lille. 
But you know something? It's 4141 DM wide formation with vertical tick attacker. There it is. Yeah, it's. Uh, I'm not happy with that. We do not do quitters. I mean, fair enough. You might have been sacked. All right, that that's that's fair play, fair dues. You got sacked, Pep. But unfortunately, Quinton, it's your bad fortune that I've just put Pep Guardiola back in charge of Rochdale. Um. Yeah, we wished him well for the future. Okay, makes sensational return. I can't, I can't have that. I can't have. Pep Guardiola getting out of this. Just just for this. This is going to be season one. There's going to be a season two. I am going to make you stay at my club, Pep Guardiola. You are in Azkaban. You're in Alcatraz. You are in Belmarsh, son. You are not getting out. You are in strange ways. In more than one sense of the word. So Pep Guardiola... Suck it up, son. You're staying till the end of the season. You are absolutely staying till the end of the season. And just to... Just to make sure of it... <laughs> I'm going to go on holiday and bring you back if you get fired. You're going to have a second season. We're going to bring... This is going to be... I was only going to do one video. Now I'm going to do two. Because he left. You left. There is no quitters in Football Manager. Do not quit. God damn it. Pep. I don't quit. Well, maybe once or twice. But before I was going to be fired. Because <laughs> uh, that stays on your record on a journey, man. Football Manager fans, you know what I mean. <laughs> so, I'm going to bring you back at the end of the season. Let's see if Pep can do any better because frankly uh, where are we hang on hang on hang on a second where is Rochdale in the league I know I know where Rochdale is but where are we in the league 16th 16th you've left his oh, look and George Thomas 11 goals one of the leading goal scorers 7 points above relegation zone Oh mate, you can do this. You can do this. Let's let's have a look. Look, you got Mafumbi in goal still. Matheson, O'Connell, Delaney and De Silva. All right, doable. MJ Williams at DM. Camps and Rathbone. That's an improvement. Putting Ollie in there. Henderson, Fernandez and Jamie Thomas. Still not playing Ian Henderson in striker role. However, Jamie Thomas has got injured, so maybe, maybe. George Thomas, Aidan Barlow, both injured. You know what? It's bad times, isn't it? Injuries all round. George Thomas scored 11 goals in 29 games. Oh dear, Hendo's got 6 in 32. Jamie Thomas has got 4 in 15 sub appearances and 4 starting. Callum's got 3 in 31. We're going to do this. You're going to do this. Mifumbi's wanted by St. Johnston. Matheson's wanted by Brighton, Burnley and Everton. Normally Norwich are in that list as well. So let's come back at the end of the season and see how well they've done. Well, Pep Guardiola, I didn't let you quit. And aren't you glad I didn't let you quit? Rochdale, safe from relegation. Seven points clear. Tranmere, Wimbledon, South End, excuse me. You all get relegated. Uh, Rochdale, after 44 games, oh, they survive. And George Thomas ends up uh, second top goal scorer or joint top goal scorer. Wow, ah, look at this. So, uh, it's very tired. O'Connell, okay. Um, a lot of players are delighted to just survive relegation. There's a few that are concerned. So, Amari Sterling James, the 51 grand signing, um, flopped. Played five uh, from the beginning, nine a sub. Uh, Jamie Thomas, 
17 as, uh, as a sub for starting four goals. Ryan Blair, poor as well. I'm not going to go through them all, but Ratchet did all right. 31 games, three assists, centre half. Um, George Thomas, 15 goals, 43 games, three assists. The man on loan from Leicester. There we go. Um, he did well. The only thing I will say is when he came to us, he was worth 500,000. Now he's worth 105,000. Ouch. Uh, <laughs> that's worrying. Um, and he's wanted by championship clubs. And Scottish clubs, he's at the end of his contract, that's why. Ah. Victor Fernandez. Decent player, he played quite a few games. Um, 36 games, 6 goals, 2 assists. Ian Henderson, he's not at double figures uh, listed. He's transfer listed for 5 grand. Pep Guardiola, you... Oh, you... Oh don't even want to say what I think of you right now. How can you transfer list Mr Herbalife? How can you transfer list Hendo? What are you doing? Um, Aaron Wilbraham didn't even play a game. Um, he's retiring. He's been available for the reserves. And he's listed for zero. Calvin Andrew got two sub appearances. Alright. <laughs> Jim McNulty didn't really play that much. Jay Lynch wasn't registered, but he must have registered him in January. He's transfer listed for eight grand. He only played three games. Must have had injuries. Willis only played three. Mafumbi played 43. Okay. Who's one of... Oh my god. Okay, so basically all clubs in the Premier League outside of uh, the top five won Luke Matheson. Well, actually, Leicester's in there, so Liverpool, Man City, Man United are not in that list. Neither is Newcastle or Norwich. It's easy to go through the ones that aren't in the list. Burton want Callum Camps for a transfer. Okay. Now I'm going to say this once, Pep Guardiola, and you listen damn carefully, son. Come closer. Closer. That's right. Put your ear against the speaker. You've got another year, son. <laughs> you bailed on us. I don't know what happened, but you got fired in December 31st. You got sacked. Or he left. I don't know which. But I'm not happy. I can't see us sacking him. Because we would have had to pay him out a ton of money. However... However, I did bring him back. Sorry, Quinton Fortune. Uh, I did bring him back, and he ended up keeping us up. It's a fair play to him. Um, Lucas Aikens had a hell of a season. He's a good player. Really underrated player, Lucas Aikens. Jack Grimmer I wanted at Rochdale, and Wickham snapped him up. Uh, he used to play for Coventry. But yeah, unfortunately... I'm not letting you off that easy, son. Uh-uh. No, 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 no. You don't get away with that, Pep. No, you don't. I'm sorry, mate, but, uh... Mate. You are here. <laughs> For as long as I can keep you here. There you go. That's as long as I can keep you here, and you're staying. Stop editing. There we go. Right, so... Rochdale, we survived. Can Pep, gr like, build on this? Can he build on it? We're going to find out. Will the board back him? That's another thing. Uh, the finances are okay, it says here. Um, okay. Um, what are their finances? Finances. Bank balance minus 141,596. 
Current transfer budget 778 quid. Wage budget 50,705, which is like two and a half million a year. Well, unfortunately, Pep, yeah, I'm not going to give you any more money. I'm not. I'm going to let you struggle. Let's see what you can do working on a League One budget in Season 2. So come back for the next one. We've trapped Pep Guardiola at Rochdale. He's not getting away. Oh boy. I'll see you all in the next one. Take care. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. Try share the videos. And I will see you all in the next one. When Pep will still be at Rochdale. Ha 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 ha.